Hi Henry's House kids, welcome back to our fifth art lesson. Today we're not going to study a certain artist. You are the artist that's doing this incredible creation. We are going to be doing some watercolor painting with yarn. So for today's lesson, you need watercolors. I have the big watercolors at Henry's house. If you don't have that kind, you can use regular kind too. Regular watercolors work. You need a long piece of yarn. I've got this long piece. Scissors. A paintbrush. A little cup of water. And some white paper. It would be ideal if you had thick paper and like thicker cardstock like we used before in some of our lessons instead of printer paper, but it will work if that's all you've got. So our first step is to take our long piece of yarn. I'm gonna find the end and I'm gonna cut it into a couple pieces. That looks long enough. Maybe one a little shorter and maybe one a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna start with three. So then I'm gonna get my cup of water. I'm gonna get a lot of water on my brush. It's pretty drippy. And then first I'm gonna go in the yellow. I'm gonna swirl it around. I need a lot of water. So you're just gonna keep dipping it in there. See how I've got a little puddle of water in there? I'm gonna swirl it around. We need some more and keep swirling. We want it to get all the color it can get. So now that I've got yellow, yellow looks pretty good. I'm gonna take my short piece and I'm gonna get it in there. I'm just gonna use my paintbrush. It's gonna get all wet. I want it to get all the colors in there. It's soaking up all the water that I put in. Keep going. And we're gonna leave that in there for a little bit. So next, I think I want some red. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get a big amount of water, drop it in the red just like that. A lot more water than you normally watercolor with. Get the sides. All right, I'm gonna put my next piece of yarn. This time I'm gonna Curl it up in a little ball, stick it in there, and then again, do the same thing. Make sure it's soaking up all that water. Now the last color I'm gonna do is blue. So same thing, get the blue, swirl it, more water. That looks like enough. I'm gonna ball this up. Just like that, stick it in my paint. Just like that. Now, if you're using these kind of paints, your yarn might not fit in here. So you might have to do smaller pieces of yarn or drag it through. Next, I'm gonna pick my yarn out. This part's a little bit messy. So, it's okay if it's super messy. I'm gonna press it down, make sure it's getting the colors out, and I'm just gonna drag it across my page. You can make loops. Maybe you could write your name with it. I like pressing it down, making a shape, and then pulling it. All right, so I'm done with this one, so I'm just gonna leave it over here in my pile. Now, I'm gonna go for my red one. It's okay if it gets messy, it's just watercolor. All right, this one I'm gonna do a similar thing. I'm gonna lay it down, press it, and pull. I'm gonna turn my paper so I can see a different angle of it. This one I'm gonna lay over here like a circle. Press it down, and pull. Lay over here. Add some color in, press it down, and pull. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so here is what my completed work looks like. This kind of artwork is called process art, which means that you aren't necessarily trying to draw something. So before in our art lessons, when we made the flowers in the flower pot like Van Gogh, we were trying to make a flower pot with flowers in it. Here, I'm not trying to make anything. The art is in the process of me doing it. So this is process art. This is also abstract, like we've talked about before. So I'm not trying to make something specific. You might not know what it looks like, but you could pretend. You could find some shapes in here. This kind of looks like a little face to me. It could it kind of remind me of outer space. So don't forget to write your names on the bottom and bring them back to Henry's house.